Hi everyone, it's Melissa, the M from the m &H of Bespoke Hairstyles, here to share Style Guide 3. This is it. Um, I've got it swept to the side, twisted to my left, and then pulled towards my left, basically. And again, I show you the style for you to decide whether it's a style for you that you want to try or not. Also, I show you the style just so you can basically see the simplicity of pulling it down, taking it down. Um, so I'll take it down now. You will need um, a brush. Well, I let me tell you what I'm using. A brush and some pins I'm using. Um, you might find that maybe a hair slide might work better for you. And because this is not just for locks, um, people watching, um, you might need a hairband. This style could be uh, done by somebody with extensions or afro, loose afro hair or locks, just traditional locks, sister locks. Yeah, anyone who wants to just try using their hands to style their hair, no heat, <laughs> can try this style. So I've pulled the hair down. Can you see how easy it was while I was just talking to you? Then I brush it in the direction I want my style to basically fall. Brush, brush, brush. And use your hands to feel that you're doing everything right. When you start the style, please remember, it's about your follicles first and then the style. The follicles are much more important. Start from your right. Pick a couple, you're going to flat twist and just basically pull across. So it's kind of like the principle of flat twist, only um, you're just kind of laying it flat down and then taking another bit of chunk of hair over the flattened bit. And um, now I think, yeah, we're approaching towards the left side. And while you're doing this, just check that everything is in place. Now, because this is a style guide, there I am, because this is a style guide, can you see what I'm doing? Um, wh when I finish, there might be um, locks loose or pits, bits poking out. It's fine because this is just a guide. This is not a hairstyle that right now I'm, I'm going out with. So um, it's just to kind of show you the principle behind how to create this style very important. So we've just got past the ear and I feel like it's time now to kind of start braiding in. So the crown area, all the loose bits bring towards the left hand and then the crown area, the back bit, the first loose bits bring them together so that we can start braiding in the um, front bits towards the left. So when you're braiding, braid it towards the left. Now, you might be really concentrating right now to try and braid in, but think about your follicles. Are you hurting your follicles? Are you um, pulling too tight? Um, don't. Loosen your hand. Um, you still need to give it quite a firm grip. Loosen your hand so you are not hurting your scalp. Um, because you want to enjoy the style, it'll just be uncomfortable for you. You can part, at this point, the inverted braid as tiny lines as possible or as big chunks. It's just what you want to do. But loosely hold down, but firmly grip. This is very important because as you come towards the end, there's so much more hair that you need to control and you're taking from underneath the hair the bulk of hair and you're bringing it through so it's kind of acting at like a hair band and you're kind of braiding the loose bits in gradually so you need i need right now to hold these locks very tightly as i braid and i'm kind of kind of encouraging them to kind of fall downwards so if your hair is likely to loosen at the end of this um, braid, then that's when you'll need your hairband. Um, so there it is. I'm braiding now to the end. And um, let's see what happens. There we go. 
braiding to the end. Now I can see one bit sticking out and I'll just tuck it in as I would the rest of the hair and that's it. And then it's down like this, you know, I've done the back, it's tucked in. If you need pins, this is where you would use pins, 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 pins. Make sure the style is secure before you do this last um, move basically in to get in the hair all tucked in. And then I just take it and I tuck it in and that's it. And then if you feel this bit is too wide, then use a pin to pull it together like this. I mean, I, I would be fine with it like this, but let me just show you what I mean like this. And that's it. And then I love my accessories. So I shall put my accessories in, well, my flower in, and that's it. Lift it, it allows it to lift it, and that's it. This is the style. That's it. And um, as I said, I can see some loose bits there. So pin in to secure. The idea is quick styling within 10 minutes. That's that's the aim. Every time I show you a style, it'll be it's the aim is to be under 10 minutes for you. Not unless it's an exceptional style, then I'll let you know it's going to be obviously longer. So that's it. Hope you um, like and let me know how yours turns out. Um, and that's it really. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your hair. And stay connected. More, 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 more styles to come. Sprit mixes, because I've been asked for spritz mixes and oil mixes as well. But the priority for me is to get you, UK and beyond, to enjoy your hair the natural way. So whether you are Afro, whether you're interlocked, whether you're sister lock, you've got extensions in your hair, or you're permite and you just think, I actually want to see the possibilities watch this video, watch my videos and see whether you can get inspiration out of them and stay connected. Any questions you have, anything you want to share with me, we still want to learn. We keep learning. So please share with us. Take care, everyone. And again, thank you for watching this video blog. Bye.